Hello YouTube, I'm Michael filling in for Eddie, and this is Eddie's Tech Talk. This is my review on the Asus Google Nexus 7. Um, I'm going to start with the spec sheet roundup, getting these specs from phonearena.com. Um, starting with the design, it is a tablet, of course. Um, its operating system is 4.4, I believe it's 4.4.3. The latest version of Android, as you would expect out of a Nexus device. Um, so let me just show you that here. 4.4.2, I'm sorry. Um, there's the K. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Dimensions is 7.87 by 4.49 by 0 0.34 inches. So what that means is seven meter seven inches tall four point four nine inches wide and zero point three four inches thick right here um is ten point five five ounces so it's pretty light for a tablet I think the um weight is pretty nice on this it's easy enough to uh just one hand it and it's just uh, skinny enough here to where I can one put it in one hand and can you know walk around and do whatever, and it's not a problem. I don't feel like I'm going to drop it at all. Um, next is the display. It is the Nexus Seven, which means that it is seven inches diagonally across from here to here, or here to here, you know, whatever you fancy. Uh, it's 1920 by 1200, which gives us a screen resolution of 323 pixels per inch. Um, that is just a little bit better than the iPhone 4, which I believe offers 313. Could be wrong. Sorry if I am. Um, but 323 is a very high pixel density. You can't really see the pixels at all unless you put it up next to a 1080p screen, which uh, you really won't be doing unless you have a lot of tech. But for everyday needs, this screen is outstanding. All right, next. Um, it has the scratch-resistant Gorilla Glass as most of these Nexus devices do. It's very nice. I have never put a screen protector on this, and I honestly cannot even find one small scratch on here. Could be wrong, there could be one on here, but I don't believe so, so let me see here. As far as I can tell, there is not a uh, scratch on the screen. And with me buying it in June, that's a lot of time with no scratches on the screen. Now the back end, that's another story. I do love the back of this Nexus device. I think it's very, um, very natural. It's got a soft touch feel. And I have noticed that it is slightly different from the Nexus 5. The Nexus 5 is um, <clears throat> a little bit harder. It also feels very nice in the hand though. Now, the back of this, let me see if I can show you here, does have some minor scratches on it. There's nothing major, but definitely does have some minor ones. There's one there, which I think you can see here. And then there's a few of them in this area, which are pretty hard to see. But like I said, they're very minor scratches. Can't see them unless you're looking for them. Um, let's see what's next camera it has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera it's not very good but you shouldn't really expect very much out of a tablet tablets aren't meant for taking pictures it will get the job done for you know video calling and Skype but it's not Nokia Lumia 1020 that's for sure and the front facing camera is up here. It is a 
1.2 megapixel camera also just good for um, video calls or some selfies if you're into that and then let's see it is able to take 1080p video which is not bad it's just the camera itself is not good enough um let's see next is hardware this uh, tablet's processing unit is the Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro. And unless you're a tacky geek like me, you don't really know what that means. The S4 Pro is a quad-core chip, I believe. And it's plenty capable of doing anything that you need it to. Um, as far as gaming goes... That is also uh, left up to the Adreno 320, which is the graphics processing unit. Now, the difference between those two is the Qualcomm is the processing unit for everything, which when you open a bunch of apps, they're going to be right here. And you can just have tons of apps open here. And you, as you can see, they all load pretty quickly with ease. Got my email there. Play Store. This one does take a little bit longer to load. This is probably the most stuttering you can see, unless you're having problems with it. This is about the heaviest stock app you got here. Um, Chrome. Let's see. I don't know what I was on here last. And see, I got all this stuff open here. And the processing unit is what handles all that. That's why it's all still running very smooth. YouTube also can take a quick second to load, but there you go, it's up already. It's no big deal for it, and as you can see, I scroll down, barely stutters if at all. Um, the processing unit is also what handles the uh, user interface, which is stock Google, Android. And as you can see, I flip through these with ease, no real lag or stutter. Occasionally, there will be something small, but... It's never anything that's going to drive you away from buying this tablet. It's not nearly as bad as those tablets with TouchWiz or um, LG's skin over Android because those have so much running on top of the user interface that it slows it down a lot, which is why they need such hefty processing units to do its job, do the same kind of job as this one does. But this one's already got a strong processing unit, so it leaves you that much more room. Alright, so as I was saying, the Adreno 320. So that's what's going to handle all your graphic intensive games. So I'll show you some Asphalt 8 here. Show you how that handles it. And while it's loading, I'm going to move on. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM. And this particular device is the 32 gigabyte model. It also comes in a 16 gigabyte model and a, um, I believe it's a 32 gigabyte with, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, the 4G capabilities so you can link it up with your phone carrier, sell your network carrier, I'm sorry, and you can have internet wherever you go. That will cost you extra though. Um, this one here sells for 270 I believe, for the 32 gigabyte model. 16 gigabyte model is 230 I could be wrong on this, I'm sorry, but I'm quite sure that's right. And it has a 3,950 milliamp hour battery. And to put that into perspective, um... I can be on this tablet playing games like this as intensive as they are for four, five, six hours and the battery's not going to drain. It'll go down. Like if I'm on a six hour car ride and I want to be on this thing the whole time watching movies or playing games, whatever, the lowest it'll bring you down that much time is probably uh, 50%. You know, so and that for a lot of people, that means the battery is a lot better than it is because 
not everybody is on here playing these intensive games or watching high definition movies and for a car ride you're not gonna have internet so it's gonna be that much easier on it um let's see here the battery is built in so I can't remove it let me just get off this game real quick so you can't remove the battery unless you take it apart which you don't want to do you could ruin it I mean if you know what you're doing that's fine but if you don't don't take it apart it has wireless charging which I wish I could show you but I don't have a wireless charger so if anybody's looking to throw some money my way I'll I'll take one all right um let's see here what's next uh that's most of the hardware specs here um it's been available since the 24th of july 2013 now like i said i bought mine in july and i actually believe i got mine on the 20th i know best buy was selling them early and there was an accident i'm not really sure um so it's a very easy to handle elegant tablet and the three big points that it has for it selling so much is first the affordability which like i said it's 230 dollars for the 16 gigabyte model 269 dollars for the uh, 32 gigabyte its power is the second biggest reason it sells because for that price you just can't beat the power you know it's got the biggest bang for your buck all day long and its size I love the form factor this thing like I was saying before in one hand oh and the other thing I love about its size is if it's right slickly in my back pocket of my jeans and it'll go in probably about that far it looks like it's gonna fall out I won't deny that but it's in there pretty tight. I've never had it fall out of my back pocket. And then other reasons why it sells so much is the screen resolution. I was telling you about that. It's just a phenomenal resolution here. I mean, the pixels are just, you can't see them. Um, and the fact that it has 4.4 KitKat, and that's the latest version of Android, and it will always have the latest version of Android until years from now when it can't. Actually, it will, probably always will. Because it is a Nexus device, and these always do get the updates first. Um, so I'm just going to go through and sh here and show you some of my other favorite things about the device. Uh, starting with Google Now, I have it right here in, my, in the center of my home page. Let's see if that'll... Yep, there you go. So it gives me my cards. I'm sure... Uh, you've seen videos on Google now before it's a great great um, great thing to have so this is Google now it gives you your cards here so I'm always looking for the Red Wings so it tells me my the Red Wings next game or the last score or whatever right there so I don't even have to search for it weather you know all that good stuff um and then normally I can say I can say okay Google and it will hear me it'll pick up on it and it'll um when I'm at this screen I can search for things with my voice so I don't have to touch it I'm not sure what goes on with this I think it's a bug I could just be doing something wrong if you know what I'm doing wrong please correct me um, this little microphone up here it's got sort of the mute icon on it because it's not filled in. It's supposed to be filled in when it is filled in. It'll say over here instead of just saying search, it'll say search or say OK Google. And when you say OK Google, it'll um, recognize that it said it, or that you said it, and it'll begin the voice search. Um, anyway, enough about Google now. Another thing I love about this tablet is the Play Movies and TV. So let's go to Transformers. I got this for free when I bought my old Nexus 7. Which is broken now, in case you're wondering. So, it's a 32 gigabyte model, like I was saying before, which 
a great thing about that is I have the Nexus 5 and this. So I can put all my small games on my Nexus 5. And then I can put my uh, big graphic intensive games on here or my movies. Like this, Transformers Dark of the Moon right here. And see this little pen up here means that it's pinned. That means it's downloaded on here. And I can watch it anytime, anywhere, high definition. So let's hit play. See how fast it starts up. And I can stutter, flip through here. It's just the processor handles it like it's nothing. Immediately starts back up. All right. Um, let's see here. If I, hold on. If I pause this, it recognizes the faces on the screen. And that's Shia LaBeouf, of course. Now it gives me cards over here, very similar to Google Now, and tells me about other movies he's in. I can go straight to the Play Store, or straight for their search, age, where he was born. Tells me his character's name up here. Let me zoom in on that. His character's name up here, underneath his real name, and other movies he was in. So, you know, this is really great for if you're watching a movie and you get those times. Everyone has them where you see that character on there. Or you hear that person, and you don't know who it is, but you know you've seen them in other movies. It's right here. You just pause it, you'll see it. Oh, that's what he was in Wall Street, you know? I don't know, I'm just making that up, but it's there. Um, so that's one thing that I love about this. And you can see this little Chromecast icon up here. I, I do have Chromecast. I love that, too. I have to do a video or something on that at some other point. Um, all right, let's see here. Another thing... I'm going to show you for the uh, processing unit is Google Earth. This is a very heavy, graphic intensive, and uh, processing unit intensive thing because it has to render so much so fast. So, what we're going to do is let's see here, where do we want to go? Let's go to, and we'll search for New York, New York. There we go. So let's zoom in on there. And this is just to show you how fast it renders. There is a little bit of stutter here, but that's as expected. I mean, even some of the very high-end computers will stutter on Google Earth because there's so much to, for it to handle. So anyway, let's zoom in here. And as you can see, it handles it very quickly. It's still rendering it in. And here's these three-dimensional buildings. I always love showing these off. They look very nice. And we can zoom in more right up next to them. And there you go. That's New York. You can turn it around, take a good look around. I think this is one of the very cool things about Google Earth. You know, I could just sit on here and look around. I think it's very interesting. But anyway, enough about me, you know. Um, I'm starting to ramble on here. Let's see, I got all this stuff open processing it just handles it like it's nothing so let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff so we don't need it open anymore and there you go that is my review of the asus google nexus 7